Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. As you can see, I'm in front of a monitor because I'm having this problem with my Asus motherboard. You can see the model over there. If you have a different one, the process is going to be similar. Every time I turn on the computer, you can see the logo over here is going to ask me for a password. And as you can imagine, I don't have the password. So I cannot access Linux or Windows or the BIOS to change this setting. So we cannot do much with software. We have to do something with hardware. So I'm going to turn off this machine and allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera so I can show you what's inside the case. Before we do anything else, I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching, touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. So this is the fan for the processor. This is an Intel one. This is my humble a video card and the RAM is behind all these cables. So what we're looking are two pins that are somewhere on the motherboard. So uh, I'm going to show you a picture right now. So these are the two pins that we need to look for on this model. If you have a different model, there might be in a different place, but they normally look like this. On this model, it is, they are located in the bottom right, as you can see over there. And there are some letters, CLRTC or clear real-time clock, okay? So you have to, to look for those letters. There are some pins on other sides of the motherboard, but you don't have to worry about that. So don't get confused. We have to look for those letters, okay? And those two pins. So once you have located the pins, what we are going to do next is disconnect the power from the power supply from the computer. You do it like that, very simple. You go back. And using my my plain head screwdriver, what we have to do is let's uh, let's say my two pins are my two fingers are the two pins, and using the screwdriver we have to make them touch for a few seconds, okay? And that's going to reset the BIOS password. So I'm going to scroll down a little. I'm showing you the same picture, and you have to put it in between the two pins, okay? And you twist it for a little, for, I left it for 10 seconds. The video is sped up over here, but 10 seconds should be enough. After that, you, well, you don't do it anymore. And we're going to go back and connect the power supply like I'm doing right here. After that, um, we're going to turn on the computer and see what happens. So as you can see, the computer is on. Allow me a few seconds, a few seconds to adjust my camera. This might take some seconds. The video is sped up, sped up here. We're going to see the Asus logo and I'm not touching anything. Uh, it didn't ask me for a password, right? And we see this American Mega Trends, which is the maker of the BIOS for many companies, for many motherboard um, builders. So you are, you read that. Please enter setup to recover the BIOS setting. Pre press F1 to run setup. So you have to press F1, otherwise you're going to be stuck here forever. It might take another seconds to go to the UFI BIOS. And finally, we are there. So this is the UFI BIOS for, for ASUS. This is very standard. On the top left, you can see the model, the BIOS. I'm going to update the BIOS for this machine in a future video, so stay tuned. You can see the processor, the RAM, and all that. So from here we have to go to advanced mode or you can press F7. From here we go to scroll down to security. We click on that and you can see administrator and user password. What it was configured on this machine, it was the user password. So every time you turn on the computer, it's going to ask you for a password. If the administrator password is on, you can access Windows, Linux, but you cannot come here, the UFI BIOS, unless you type the password. Okay, so the method I show you in this video works to reset any of those. Now I'm going to press escape because we don't have to do anything. I just wanted to show it to you. I, press, I go to exit and save and reset. Yes. Even though we might not have done anything, but I'm going to press it anyway. There's no other option. So I'm going to wait for a few seconds. You can you see the ASUS logo there. It's going to take some seconds and Windows or Linux should start. In my case, this machine doesn't have any operating system. That's why it's telling me that it cannot boot because it doesn't have anything. Okay, But that's how you reset the BIOS password from an ASUS machine. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.